Hey guys, welcome back to Custom RC Garage. Uh, today I got a uh, vintage car in here that I picked up from my nephew. Uh, I got it for the speed control and the motor. Uh, and I'd like to give a big shout out to my number one fan, Tyler. Hey Tyler, what's up buddy? Uh, but anyways, uh, I don't know what this is, whether it's a Tamiya, Tamiya or a Kyosho, I'm not real sure, but uh, what I'm interested in is uh, the speed control and the motor, it's the Valenion system, and uh, if you had watched my uh, boat video on the Blast and the Villain, I had said that I had a uh, brushless system coming in for the boat, and this is the system here, but uh, I think I'm going to maybe try getting this car going first and running the shit out of it and see how it goes. But uh, I thought the transmission was stripped. And uh, with this motor in here, well, kind of made sense at the time. But uh, I did have it going. And uh, what it is is the rims are spinning on the tires. So uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the transmission. And it looks like a pretty heavy duty uh, transmission for for an old vintage car like this. But I'm gonna find me a receiver and stick her in there and we'll go outside and see how this car performs. Okay, I got the receiver in there and I got my see if I can get in there for a shot. I got my blind plug in there and Let's see if we can bind this thing up with my uh, spectrum radio. Well, first I'm going to turn this on. And I don't know if you can see that screen. But what we want to do is, first of all, we want to go to a model that's not in use. I got quite a few of them here. Okay, number nine. Go back. Put that on bind. And I'm not going to push the bind yet. I'm going to plug this in. The car in. And uh, when that gets into bind activation, then I'll push this button here. So first we want to turn this on. And receiver is flashing, so take this. There. And she's down now. Do we have throttle? We do. Okay, now I've just got a 2S battery in there. First, I want to uh, shut everything off. I'll take that back into number nine and I'll shut the car off. Guess I'm gonna have to unplug it. Traxxas. Okay, now I'll pull the bind plug out. And I'll reset the radio too. Make sure it comes up on number nine. Plug the car in. Turn it on. And we should have power. We have steering. And we have movement. All right, let's take her outside, guys. Yeah, okay, we're outside. Got a little bit of snow. It's actually pretty chilly out. Let's see how this thing's gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to steer it. I can hear that. What I thought to be a strip transmission. Sure sounds like it. She's not hooking up too good. Let's 
zoom her in a little bit here. This is uh, kind of tough to record. Uh, oops, we just broke a steering link or something. Hmm. Yeah, I think just the screw came out though. And uh, I forgot to put a little glue on these back tires. I think what I'll do is go back in the house, dry it up, fix that front end, and maybe uh, glue up those back tires. And she's really slipping now. Okay, back inside, and just like I thought, uh, one of the screws came out of the steering arm here. Uh, I notice on the other side it has a nut on it so I'm gonna have to find me a nut and uh, that should just go right back on there no problem at all so I'm gonna look at my nuts and bolts and pins box see what I got I'm pretty sure I got one in here to take this uh, let's see I think I might have got lucky here. And maybe not. Yes, I did. That fits right on there. It's a lock nut. I'm just hoping it's not going to be too wide. I guess I'll just have to stick her through the hole and see, hey eh, guys? get my camera down any lower than that but there she is there so looks like uh, I think I'll be okay well, I'll do that off camera and get that tightened up okay guys I had to uh, use a different nut that lock nut was uh, getting bound up under here so I had to find a different nut and that's a real thin one uh, but it's not a lock nut so what I'm gonna do is uh, use some um, nail polish I don't have any lock tight so uh, I found that uh, some nail polish works real good for for thread lock and I'm just gonna paint the top of that now this was a if this was something I was going to run all the time, I'd probably put a different bolt and nut in there and bring it up through the other end. But uh, I basically just want to beat the hell out of this car. <laughs> see if uh, see if it can hold up to that there Villanion motor. But uh, yeah, I'm going to let that dry. Actually, since that one fell off, oops. I guess you guys didn't see that, eh? <laughs> I missed a little. Alright, wipe that off. You got a heck of a gob on there. Well, yeah, uh, if you don't have any thread lock left or you haven't got any, um, take a look through your, 
your girlfriend or your wife's uh, nail polish stuff and make sure you take the ugliest nail polish you can find in there something you've never seen or wear before and uh, in a pinch it works pretty good for Loctite all right I'm gonna let that dry up and see what we got for steering okay guys we got the steering going and I glued up the back tires It's too dark out to take it out tonight, but uh, I'm going to have to get another run video on this and uh, see if we can't wreck this car before I pull the motor out. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next Custom RC video.